today we want to be talking about video camera and the support, okay? Uh, the camera has um, too many controls, but believe me, the, the first time you get this, okay, and, and then we practice, uh, like I will pra practice, you know, uh, a student's name because I need to practice those, otherwise I will, uh, I will keep them saying wrong. So um, this is a high definition camera, it's a Canon, and the model is XA45. By the way, I do have a video in how, uh, how to operate this camera, okay, a step by a step. I have it on uh, in Google Drive, and those you can actually have access via Canvas. I have uh, how to use this one, how to use actually that one that, that I'm recording with, how to do the lights on the studio, and green screen, and all those very cool stuff. I have it there uh, on the, on the uh, on Google Drive, and you can access those via Canvas. All right. Um, this is the support. Have a, a few names, okay? In the broadcasting, that was sticks. Simple. We didn't go for the name, uh, the uh, so scientific name as a tripod. So uh, most the name that we were using on the broadcast on our jargon was sticks. Easy. Um, if if you one day, okay. I will actually, uh, if we are in a, uh, uh, a special event, uh, anywhere in the building, let's say the, uh, the gymnasium, and I, and I missed the, I, I miss this thing here, okay? I'm gonna call you thing right now. So I, and I will grab, I will say to one of you, say, can you go back to the classroom and get me the sticks, okay? Now, please understand, these are the sticks. You will not go and say, wait a minute, sticks? Hmm, that will be chicken sticks? That will be, uh, no, 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 no. The sticks are the tripod, is the support, okay? So that is what it is. But um, we wanna uh, talk about the various, uh, various um, uh, video cameras available. Um, I'm gonna show you guys here the ones that we have, there are so many type of cameras, including our telephones, okay, which I already showed you a video that I record in 4K. Um, uh, this records high definition up to 1080 progressive. Take note. All right, R remember if I, I'm gonna ring my bell. Uh, Canon XI-45 actually records a 1080 progressive. It's all to the top, okay? Uh, we cannot record anything else, but up to 1080. We can record in between uh, a 720 progressive, which is the lowest resolution, and why is it that I will do that? Can anybody tell me why is it that I will go from 1080 downscale to 720? Can you tell me a... Uh, give me an idea why is it I will go that direction and why? What do you think I will go, I will downscale? Hey, 1080 is great resolution, but I'm gonna go 720 this time. It's, it's a few factors of why I could do that. Anybody, any idea? No? All right, let me tell you a few aspects. First of all, uh, let's say the SD card that I have, okay, it is, has no much, it's, uh, it's not larger in its space. So I can go 720 and I can record more onto the, the SD card. The other one is that, that I might not have a powerful up, um, uh, software to edit this video and I need a, a, a quicker way to do it. 720, good. But the most, the most reasons why is their recorder in 720 instead of 1080 is uh, for a video streaming purposes. 
uh, the internet speed nowadays obviously is God. It got speed. Oh goodness, it, it is is fast. But not everywhere we have a fast access. Okay, so even in the middle of the, of the city, we want to find the spots that the internet is not fast as you know as expected. So if I have a lower resolution, my video is still going to be playing. My video is still going to be able to play, you know, on those telephones, especially, because we're looking for mobile devices. So um, instead of having a high definition, I will, uh, 1080, I can go 720, and the internet will be good. But that will be uh, the few instances of why is it that I will go. So um, we're going to identify the parts of the camera. Uh, we're going to differentiate between the focal length of the camera. Okay, let me explain what for start focal length is. Okay, uh, as you see, the, the cameras has a, a zoom lens, right? Uh, even telephones has a... Why is it that we have one, two, three, four? Why do we have four things in here? Why? Can anybody tell me why do we have four lenses? We have four lenses, you see, on the phone. How many could you phone? Two, three lenses? Any idea why is it that you see this, this, uh, these things right here? How many? Two. What about your phone? Uh huh. What about yours? Oh, getting better. There you go. What about yours? Two. So. Yeah, that, that will be, if you have two, will be, uh, that will be a, even better. More, most phones has only one, one lens. And those are lenses, ladies and gents. And why is it that we have, you know, uh, three, actually, lenses? One for each focal length. One is, uh, let's say if I want to take a picture of him, I set my lens from here up. And then I push my other lens, okay, and it will be probably from here up. I push my other lens, it will be an extreme close-up, okay? Let's see if I can... Um, uh, well, a lot of this connection is going to happen. So, um, so focal length means zooming into the object. That is a focal length. This camera has a zoom length, which is 20. I believe it's 20. Uh, 20 is the, the maximum that we can go in with the lenses of this camera. Okay? And which, it, that is a very decent, very decent um, uh, focal length at this point. Uh, explain the interrelation between f-tops, the iris, and the aperture in controlling nights. Okay, this right here will be more, uh, not necessarily for this camera because this camera will not cover that. Okay, so we're gonna go. <clears throat> we're gonna go most exactly for the aperture and controlling the light. Oh, the, the iris. I'm sorry, the iris controlling the light. That is how much light do we want the camera to, uh, the lens to actually go, you know, and let into uh, the lens, uh, the, the camera itself. All right. Uh, the benefits involved in using handheld camera shooting or perhaps having it in a, having it in a, in a tripod like the one I have there. Uh, recognize the type of tripod heads available and cite unique uh, characteristics of each. Uh, implementing proper procedures for cleaning and storing video equipment. All right, let's do this. Uh, studio cameras. Oh, this is good. this is a good thing to take note, please. Okay. Um, studio cameras. Studio cameras are big things. Those are this big. The camera itself. Uh, the support for the cameras are larger, and they are they look like robots. Okay. Studio cameras. This this right here is a camcorder. This one is a camcorder, the one that I have on my hands, okay? Um, 
I have uh, other type of cameras. Okay, let me bring another camera very quickly. I have a few cameras right here that I, I will go with them in a, you know, each. Uh, <coughs> this camera right here, uh, it can be set up as a studio camera. Uh, this one right here. It will take, uh, this is the support that goes into the support of the camera. Uh, <coughs> we don't need external monitor because it's right in here. This is the lens. This camera itself, this is a camera head itself, don't have, um, don't have microphones themselves, okay? We have to put the microphones in here if we need to, if you want to use this camera to record. But this is a multi-camera setup only. So uh, this one is a black magic camera. This is a very uh, cool uh, professional camera. Okay, um, now we have another one. This is a Sony, a more professional camcorder, okay? This camera still records uh, on SD cards. And I'm gonna show you very quickly what an SD card, well, probably most of you know what an SD card look like. Okay, uh, this is an SD card in here. And, well, actually, um, I have a micro SD card, and this is the adapter to read the full size SD card, okay? And the reason I bought this card like that because uh, uh, the many times putting this into the camera and pulling those out of the camera, uh, this contacts, okay, the little um, metal contacts, it can get damaged or broken or something. So. If, if, oops, if this get damaged, this won't get damaged. So all what I need to do is just get another adapter, put the card in, I'm good to go. This is an SD card. Um, SD card stands for Secure Digital. Memory card, like this is SD card, stands for secure digital, okay? That is what it is. Later, we're gonna talk more about medias. This is media, by the way. So this camcorder uses SD media cards. SD cards, uh, this camera is a professional camera. It uh, has better, uh, better, a better at resolution. Uh, Crispy, uh, why is that? Because it has larger CCDs. All uh, right, let me just go back there. CCD is, stands for charging coupling device. It's all what I know. It's a little, it's like, like a chip, and that will actually um, capture one color, either red, Green and what other color? Blue. So that camera, this camera right here, has only one chip. That the only single one detects that actually uh, computes the three colors. So it's still a margin, a margin of error, uh, if the color uh, will bleed into the other color. It's a possibility. While on this camera, not. Because we have uh, three chips in it. One for red, one for blue, and one for green. RGB. So by the time we have the image from this camera, it's gonna be, the color will be more defined and detailed. And that's what we are looking for. It looks, this is older than this camera. This camera is 20, <coughs> I believe, if I'm not wrong, it came out in 2018 or 2019, this one. This one came out in 2020, uh, 2020 or 2021, this camera right here. <clears throat> now, that is, both of these ones are K 
camcorders, right? Different size, uh, and the, um, this is professional, and this one is called consumer. Can anybody tell me why is it called consumer? That would be like regular people. Like for us, okay, we are, we are the consumers, okay? And because uh, this camera, um, when bought new, it was $1,500. It's still quite reachable to a consumer type of camera. While this one is a broadcast professional camera, I, I, when it came new, it was over 3,500 bucks. I, I don't, you know, for, for doing a uh, home video, no, I, I don't think so I'm gonna get this one. There's a lot of money. I can't just buy a $3,500 camera just because I want to record uh, my daughter's birthday parties and that kind of thing. No, I can't do that. That's very expensive. But I could afford this. I could. Okay, so uh, that consumer level and there are prosumers in between professional and consumer. Okay, so uh, and there are professionals, obviously. Now, <clears throat> we have uh, studio cameras, camcorders, convertible cameras. What do you think about that? Well, how, how is it that you can actually see a convertible camera? Okay. Hmm. A camera is, is like uh, cameras that I can detach the lenses. I can put recorders on the top. I can, uh, and uh, like this one right here can be a convertible camera as well because I can change lenses. I can, uh, I can do more upgrades to this camera itself, okay? So this one here. Uh, <clears throat> we have obviously a smartphone cameras. We have POB cameras. And anybody, uh, probably you've seen that on, on, on your social feed. What is, what POB stands for? Point of view. Got it, point of view. And let me, sh let me actually show you a camera, which is a point of view. And this, this actually is one uh, of, of, uh, of many point of view cameras. Can someone give me another, uh, another uh, name for another camera that is a point of view? It's, a, it's another camera that is so popular. No? Hmm? It is digital, yes. GoPro. GoPro. GoPro is another point of view. They don't have a zoom lens. They don't. They, they, just, they just record. I hit record in here, and it records straight. It has no, no controls to zoom in to the object. So this is a Sony. Uh, Sony is uh, the second uh, as well in uh, on producing or manufacturing point of view cameras on the almost in the consumer and prosumer uh, grades. But uh, now DG, DGI actually is into that market as well. Because DG, you know, DGI is the building the drones, right? So they have cameras on it. So DGI is playing, uh, it got into the uh, arena with POB cameras and GoPro and Sony here. So uh, this camera right here, uh, can record uh, 1080, progressive, okay, uh, up to 120 frames. Awesome. I have, I actually, I, I own one of these ones, and uh, I put that one on my bike. And as you can see this right here, this actually, you can actually put this one on your helmet. So that you can actually have a camera. Uh, on my... Uh, <coughs> On my trip, so this is a this is a POB camera right here. On my trip to uh, Switzerland, uh, I took my uh, a POB camera, which is a GoPro. I had it 
and I had a, a uh, headband adapter, so I had my camera right here. Because on my hands, I had my DSLR camera for pictures. Uh, I had a chest uh, camera adapter as well, so I can have the camera right here instead of my head. So, because I wanted to do more with my hands and having my, my GoPro recording all the time. So after that, now we have DSLR. And this is a DSLR camera. Anybody has a clue what DSLR stands for? No? It's okay. All right. Make sure you write it down. DSLR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflex. And by the way, I didn't invent those names. I don't know who, I don't know why. But anyway, it's Digital Single Lens Reflex. And that is a digital camera. On this, with this camera, we can record, uh, obviously, uh, we take pictures, okay, and we take video. Uh, the video content of, of the maximum resolution on this camera is uh, 1080 progressive high definition video. On this, this is a Sony uh, Alpha 6000, okay? I don't have an instructional video for this camera yet, but I will build one for you to have it uh, you hand, you know, at, at hand so to learn more about this camera. Uh, this uh, like like any other camera, except this guy right here, this one doesn't has a digital uh, SD card slot in it. This one you can plug a hard drive or any other mean or recording device, but not for an SD card. While this one records or take pictures and capture everything on digital uh, SD cards. This one here. <laughs> Uh, this one SD card, this one as well. POV camera takes a micro SD card. So what I need to do, what I would need to do is uh, get this thing off in here. Oh, by the way, this thing, you can go up to uh, 200 meters of water and it will record there. I don't know if you, I, I don't know who will put 200 meters. That's a lot of meters under the water. Oh, probably no, I'm sorry, I, it's 50 meters down. That is, that's deep. That's a lot of pressure. 200 is too much. But 50 meters, I believe 50 meters that you can actually put this on the water. Uh, but uh, it takes a, a micro SD card. Uh, I like this camera very much for, for, um, for the size, what it is, and the quality of video that it takes. The only thing that I don't like for this camera, for this POV camera, is the battery uh, charge life is really short. It's very small. So um, uh, that in that case, GoPro has better uh, batteries for that. All right. Any questions? No questions, guys? Come on. And all this stuff. So we, we got type of video cameras. Uh, studio cameras, camcorders, convertible cameras, smartphones, POB, and DSLR camera. So, um, uh, Julian, uh, what what DSLR stands for? Uh, we're going to be seeing in another, in another lesson, this is tilt down, okay, tilt down. Uh, now, this is pan left, pan right. This is what it is, okay? Tilt down, panning, so very smooth. 
uh, there are different type of the, uh, tripods. We're going to get into that, okay? But right here in the bottom, this type of tripod that we have or support to label the, the head, that this, is the, this is the head and the legs. Legs need to be pulled all the way out, okay? In order for you to level the camera properly, make sure that you actually uh, get all the legs out, um, uh, all, all the way out, and then you're going to just level the head. In order to level the head, there is a, a bubble, air, there is an air bubble right in here to the bottom. I will actually put the air bubble right in the center. You are not seeing it. I will probably look at uh, in a few seconds. You, you're going to see that. So um, yeah, uh, when we come back, I want you to just, we're going to return to this. But I already leveled the head. Okay. Uh, this is here the tight, the plate. This is the tripod plate. Tripod plate. Push this red thing. I'm pushing this red in here. Uh, this to actually push the plate right in it. Now it's going nowhere. Okay, it's a good thing. So, but this is still need to be tight so it doesn't move. Okay, so this is this will the plate will go in underneath the camera, and this is where you set it up for. Okay. Right here, I'm gonna stop right now, and uh, we want to take a, a we want to take you know uh, the break from now. So uh, we were talking about <coughs> recapping about the type of cameras that we have, and most likely the type of cameras that we're gonna be using uh, here in class. Okay, uh, <coughs> I am not I am not the one, the type of teacher that would actually will suppress and what technology to use to use or not to, okay? I want you to just get to know what is that we have and what is it that would be best for you and when uh, an assignment comes to play and uh, you're gonna say, okay, let me try this camera or can we try this camera? But um, the idea will be that I need to teach you one camera and that camera you're gonna practice for you know you know for a while because I'm gonna need to go to actually teach teach you the basics and how to uh, utilize this DSLR camera at that point. So um, study cameras. Those cameras are cameras that don't remain in that studio. Okay, uh, they are in a big tripod, not necessarily a tripod, it's called most a studio pedestal, okay? That's what the name it takes. Um, this is the support or tripod or, you know, sticks. But when we talk in the studio cameras, they are in a studio pedestal. Those, in, in order to actually uh, put the camera on it, which will be quite, it will take about at least two people to uh, make sure the camera is right in place is secure, it doesn't fall, uh, to actually uh, tilting is more a, a fluid mechanism that it has a regular head, okay? So the size obviously is gonna be large and the weight as the same way, okay? Uh, we're gonna see probably uh, a, 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 an image here in a second. Uh, those cameras are paired with a uh, a control unit, okay, is camera control unit, CCU, okay? That is what actually, um, <coughs> the CCU, what it does is um, the camera will have a cable about this thick with about maybe 16 to 24 little wires in it. So that will be coming out of the camera. It will connect to that CCU box and that will be to a, a remote control apparatus that will be for zooming, focus, um, setting up the white balance, checking the exposure, and uh, focus on the camera, and zoom lens, and the whole thing is in this control. And that is, that is what a, uh, those are set up for, okay? 
and uh, all right. Uh, this is the tripod, okay, with the dolly, which that right there. If you take a look at the camera back there, that one is is on a dolly. A dolly has a obviously three casters. You sit the tripod uh, properly and secure, and uh, easy to manipulate the camera, okay? Uh, that is a dolly with casters. Now, but that is not necessarily for a studio camera. Let me show you a studio camera. This is the big animal camera right there. That camera is the one they use on television um, uh, broadcasting. Uh, has a three wheels on buttons. This one has the wheels in here, and it has a control that to steer or to push the entire pedestal in here. Okay, this is so heavy. Camera head, lens, viewfinder, and there are the three parts of a camera are okay. The camera body in here, the lens and the viewfinder, which is this one here, LCD screen, or perhaps this viewfinder uh, that is a, uh, they call an eye cup, practically. Uh, you can do it this way, or, or you can just, or you can just uh, rely on the screen in here on the camera. But for a more detail, okay, um, personally, I prefer the viewfinder, the iCup viewfinder, because this little screen right here has more resolution than the big screen right here. Do you believe that? Yeah, this is a large, it's nice, convenient because it's large, but, but when I need to just see details, making sure that it's a, a focus image, I will go here and because it has more resolution than this in here. So, um, so let's recap. Camera, body, lens, and viewfinder. This right here are the controls for the lens. Either that will be to uh, zoom in or out, or a fix, you know, uh, not uh, a focus alignment at that point, okay? So the zoom is the focal length. Focus is to have a detail and sharp. Uh, this is a, has casters so large, and to push this thing right here, it is quite a very heavy work to do. So, but that is in a studio camera, okay? Um, Let's go, what's next? Uh, this is the CCU here, okay? Uh, camera control unit. Uh, it's called a control unit. Uh, obviously, this, is, is, this will be located in the control room. Perhaps that in the control room is where we will have the CCU of each camera. Uh, controls all the signal from the camera itself. Color, tint, contrast, brightness, and iris, and that is to do a white balance will be through here. Uh, to do a, the exposure of the color, opening the lens, the iris, all will be right here. We have one, two, three, three CCUs in here, okay? Individual cameras, okay? So everything can set up as an auto mode, or you can just tweak the camera as you will prefer um, for quality at that point. All right, uh, camera control unit, okay? Uh, as you can see, uh, this is camera, uh, camera one, camera two, okay? Uh, and right here goes through the camera CCU control, and they actually fix the white balance of the cameras. As you can see, this one is, uh, this one's yellowish, greenish, and this is blue. As soon as the operator fits it in here, the bluish is gonna be just perfect as it needs to be. So this is how two cameras will be controlled 
uh, through the CCU. Camcorders, we'll talk about camcorders. And look, this one right here, that is a similar to this one right here. And um, to, this is Sony camera. Um, contains camera recorder in one unit. And this is uh, uh, one camera. Quarter means recorder, okay? So, but let me show you uh, I, I, uh, what actually a convertible camera is. I really forgot this one. <clears throat> this camera right here is a, they, they call a convertible camera. Look at this thing here. This is, I, I uh, honestly, the year, I, I am maybe 72, 74, camera, lens, viewfinder, recorder. Can you come, please? And um, wait this thing, hold it. Hold it. Heavy, right? Yep. Very heavy. I believe, I believe you should probably, uh, probably you're so happy that you don't have to deal with this type of technology. We did it. I did use this camera for long. Um, I, I wish I would like to see this working, but somehow the power of that, this will power the camera. Okay. And something happened with the power adapter. So this is a big, crazy camera device. Woo. Thank God we don't have to go through that, that anymore, right? Because we have all these devices here, or I can just record right here, okay? Uh, there is a very good reason why to record on a cell phone, okay? But obviously a cell phone is limited. Uh, this one record has a memory 228 gigs. I can put it, this one had to put an SD card in order to record in it. The limitation is this has a zoom lens I, and, and, and this is an optical lens. I can zoom in quite much, okay, which I cannot do it with this one much, even though it has three different lenses. It's still very short range. On the other hand, this one has microphones right here. I can connect microphones in here as well. This one has a tiny microphone somewhere in the bottom. I can still plug another microphone here if I need to, but this one has better on that. So lens and, my, and audio, this is the, the capabilities and this is a lags uh, of that. So, uh, the camcorder, lightweight, portable, since sits on the tripod, like the one that you see in the back, and, and you can have it on the shoulder, okay? How is it that you take a camera on the shoulder? Well, let me tell you, first of all, um, these cameras cannot be taken in the shoulder anymore because too short, okay? Cameras back, back in, in the, they will have an adapter here, okay? And that, that it will sit right here in the shoulder, and you will keep the camera right here. But no anymore. I cannot just put this right here. That would be quite impossible to work. I have this lens, this uh, screen right, you know, not even an inch away from my eyes. So um, the best way to record, okay, the best way to record is always to keep a camera on the tripod or on the sticks or support, okay? Don't, if you think that you don't have the stability handheld recording, don't, don't, don't do it because it's gonna be just shaky. But let's say that you're going to record uh, for a project and it's gonna be quite impossible to just stick with a tripod on that location, okay? So we have, we have uh, one more thing is, it's called a monopod, okay? Let me, let me uh, see if I can find it very quickly, and I will find it, yay. So this 
this thing right here is a monopod, okay? This one uh, goes into the camera. There you go. Now I can extend the leg and look. Ta da! I have a monopod. Why do I call this tripod anyway? Can someone tell me? Why do I call this tripod? Huh? Three legs. No. Because it has three legs. And this one is a monopod because it has one leg. So, look, you still have a, a way to keep your camera stable. But there is a, a there is a lot to know, uh, all perhaps to keep this in a balance. You may probably be saying, "Okay, nice, I'm good," and the camera is there. You have it steady, but it's it's not it's not balanced. So you need to make sure that it's balanced your camera. And there is not a um, uh, a air bubble nowhere in here, and actually it used to have one, okay? But it's not anymore to just see the, the level of your camera. This is a nice way to keep your camera, okay, uh, steady. But uh, one that I, that I know, and I believe I know well, okay, this is nice. You can take it everywhere. I mean, you can put it on your luggage, it's good. Things. So I can record handheld if knowing that I know a stability. Okay? First thing to gain the practice, you will put one hand, left hand at this point, right underneath the camera itself, okay? And the other one right on the top to hold it, to actually hold it. And this one is just to keep the stable and level. And then you can still now record. Instead, it's just here or here. Uh, here you can do it. Your hands right there through the grip, and then you put your hands right underneath to here to keep it more stable. Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, is make sure that you keep the camera steady. Okay. Many. Uh, many uh, shows or movies, they meant to have some little moves on in almost in every scene that they have. And they have a little, you know, little moves. When they have a, a, even though it might be just here, and they just keep this there. And the reason is because uh, they're using a, some sort of psychological way is if I do this, I am keeping the viewer more busy than if I just have a steady and boom. Uh, and uh, they just want that, that little motion, slightly motion in every scene possible to keep the viewer right focus. So that is a cam quarter. Let's go in. Uh, this is a professional broadcast cam quarter. This right here uses a cassette, cassette compartment, battery, has a big heavy battery, maybe about five pounds battery, uh, lens, body, and viewfinder, okay? Uh, most will use a memory stick, a P2 card. We're going to talk about those more uh, whenever we go to media, an external, uh, an internal hard drive or external hard drive. And then we connect those media, mo those media cards to, um, a, um, uh, to a computer. All right. Let's, uh, and smartphones, obviously. Wait a minute. Uh, convertible cameras uh, can be accessorized to become a studio camera or a portable field camera. Okay? Like this one right here can be a studio or can be a, a uh, they call uh, electronic gathering newscast. We can put a recorder into it here 
and we can actually, we can accessorize this camera to become a handheld. And, um, we can put the, the microphones to it. So this is a convertible camera. Uh, this monster down here, uh, that is a, a called an electronic news gathering, ENG. Uh, is recorder separate and camera separate. All right, so that is a convertible camera. Uh, you can actually drag it to convert that one to a set or a studio uh, and for mobile uh, as well. Smartphones, well, what can I say about my smartphone? Okay, uh, I wanna ask you something here. Uh, I need to, to find on your phone, okay, the, I want you to pull your phone at this point. Yes, I'm gonna let you pull your phone. And you're gonna open your camera, your camera, um, your camera application, okay? On, on your camera application, I want you to find um, that resolution in megapixels of your phone, okay? Uh, I'm gonna take my time and find mine. So open your camera. And uh, let's say iPhone, let's search it anyway at this point. iPhone, um, what do you have? 13. 13. Let's see, megapixels, megapixels. Um, all right, your camera has 12 megapixels on the rear camera. Um, You have flip? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you have? 15? Yeah, 14. 14. Let's see. Uh, 14 uh, megapixel camera. Uh, your camera has um, 12 megapixels. Um, the iPhone 14 Pro has. Um, up to 48. All right, POVs, this is a POV camera. It's a GoPro right there. This is a Hero 4, which is very old camera. Uh, GoPro L uh, and GoPro 11 is out there. And of course, DSLRs. DSLRs is this camera. It's a uh, uh, digital single, uh, single lens reflex. A lot that we could co cover on, on this camera, okay? Because they do obviously pictures and we can record HD video, high definition. Uh, parts of a camera, very quickly, okay? As I said before, body, camera head, okay? Lens and viewfinder. Now, if we see it on this camera, this will be camera body, lens, and viewfinder. Or uh, we can use this as such as well. Okay. Uh, on this camera, body, okay, obviously lens, and this baby tiny thing here is the viewfinder. All right, uh, that is a professional uh, a studio camera. All right, this is what a, a chip is look like. This is what that handles the color of the camera, okay? Uh, and this it means charge coupled device, CCD. Uh, like I said before, if one camera, uh, uh, if a camera has only one CCD, it's because it's a consumer camera. But if a professional camera, they have three. Okay, uh, consumers only one. Uh, most likely would be, uh, and this is uh, is um, it's called CMOS. That is instead of a CCD now. Okay. Uh, this is what <coughs> this camera uses in here. It uses this type of capture 
technology, CMOs. It's complement complementary metal oxide semiconductor, da, 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 da. That is the whole name. This is what it uses for. Um, this camera uses a chip. And as actually, no, they use a uh, CMOS uh, technology. Same way with this thing here. This not. This uses three CCDs. This one's use uh, CMOS technology, three CMOS technology for red, green, and blue. Um, and viewfinder, uh, the diopter uh, adapter, well, that's on the camera is the little viewfinder. Uh, okay, zebra stripes, we're gonna talk about that, camera lens. Uh, camera lens, the longer range is better, the shorter or the, or the wider. Uh, the lenses, the different type of lenses. Um, uh, that is a focal length, how it happens, okay, or of, a, uh, of a lens has these many elements of glass. The more glass, uh, more quality on the lens. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's the lens itself. 